Nix, J.B. Bickerstaff has hypocritical response to Julius Randle's a near injury. The New York Knicks 107-90 loss to the Cavaliers on Tuesday night couldn't have been much worse than it was. However, it nearly took an ugly turn with a little over two minutes left to play in the game. Although the Knicks were down by 20-plus points, Tom Thibodeau had both Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle still in the game. The team's two most important players, so it's not as if it were a big deal or anything. Please detect that sarcasm. It almost turned into a big deal when Randall went up for a fast-break dunk and was met mid-air by Jared Allen, a Cavaliers starter that was still in the game. Randall took a hard fall, landing on his back. He stayed down for less than a minute as every Knicks fan was holding their breath, and when he got up, he went straight to the locker room. Thibodeau took it as a sign to finally pull Brunson from the game. Allen was assessed a flagrant one foul. After the game, Cleveland head coach J.B. Bickerstaff disagreed with Allen's flagrant foul and said that it was nothing more than a contest of a dunk. J.B. Bickerstaff disagrees with Jared Allen's flagrant one foul on Knicks' Julius Randle. Ahead of Game 2, there were many discussions about the Knicks' physicality that helped to lead them to a Game 1 101-97 win. There were complaints about Randle's physicality specifically. Isaac Okoro even went as far as to take a shot at Jalen Brunson for his antics that result in trips to the free-throw line, even though Brunson shot 4 of 4 as did Okoro in Game 1. J.B. Bickerstaff said after Saturday's game that the Cavaliers needed to be more physical. Darius Garland said rather than taking the punches and lying down, Cleveland needed to fight back. That game plan worked to perfection for the Cavaliers on Tuesday. There's nothing to say other than the Knicks got an embarrassing wake-up call. Nothing is going to come easy in the playoffs. However, for Bickerstaff to say that it wasn't a flagrant foul was a bit much. He made it seem as if it was acceptable for New York to play hard, but not Cleveland. That couldn't have been more false. The officials were letting both teams go at it in Game 2, including a non-call on Allen after he should have been whistled for a moving screen on Brunson. Bickerstaff can't act as if the Cavaliers weren't being given an advantage as well. Randall wasn't happy with Allen's actions. He sent what could come across as a threat to Allen. The center spent three and a half seasons in Brooklyn with the Nets, so while he should be familiar with Knicks fans, he might not be ready for what's coming for him in Game 3 at MSG. Subscribe to the channel, comment, and stay on top of all Knicks news.